Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm now on question number 11 from the October um, 2021 International GCSE IGCSE Cambridge Paper 2, Variant 2, 0580 um, syllabus. And this question here is about a speed time graph. It says a car starts its journey by accelerating from rest at a constant rate of 0 0.7 meters per second squared for 20 seconds. Um, before reaching a constant speed of 14 meters per second. And that's actually shown on the graph here. So it starts from rest and it reaches a speed of 14 meters per second in 20 seconds. Okay, and that's the answer. That's, that's basically part A, the first part of the graph drawn. It then travels at 14 meters per second for a distance of 210 meters. So it's going to go on a constant speed for a certain amount of time, which we have to calculate, I guess. And then it decelerates at a constant rate of 1.4 meters per second squared before coming to a stop on the grid comp complete the speed time graph for the car's journey. So we have two sections here. We've got this part where it's going at 14 meters per second for a distance of 210 meters. Now that's a constant speed. So you're going to have a straight line going across here. Okay, a straight line going across here. Um, uh, we have to work out how far that, that line goes across. So we're not sure how far that line goes across at first. So we've got to work that out. Now, we know that the area under a speed time graph tells us the distance traveled. And as this section is going to have a constant speed, then we can simply just think about it as in terms of this is 14, because that's 14 meters per second. This is the amount of time that it's going to go by. Uh, it's going to be going at 14 meters per second and this is the total um, area under this graph so the, it's sort of like a rectangle so we can say that 14 times t is going to give us 210 so t is going to be 210 divided by 14 so we can work out what t is then so we have 210 over 14 which gives us 15 seconds so i know that it's going to go from 20 to 35 so 20 up to 35 which is there that's how far it's going to go all right that's the first part so we've completed that first part then it says it decelerates at a constant rate of 1.4 meters per second squared before coming to a stop so the acceleration is negative 1.4 meters per second squared okay so that's the acceleration all right because it says decelerates means negative acceleration and the gradient of a speed time graph tells us all about its acceleration. So if I think about the coordinates of this point here, the coordinates of this point here are 35 and 14. And there's going to be some point down here. So I'll just I'll draw it here so we can... There's going to be some point down here at which it comes to rest. I've got to find out what that point is. So it comes to rest when its speed is 0. And we've got to find the time at which it comes to rest. So I know that the gradient of this line has to be negative 1.4. So the change in y, which is 14 minus 0, over the change in x, which is 35, take away t, must be equal to negative 1.4. So if I rearrange this, so I'm going to have um, 14 divided by negative 1.4 equals 35 minus 10. This is my, minus t, sorry, so you have negative 10 equals 35 minus t. If I add t to both sides, add 10 to both sides, I end up with 35 plus 10. So t is going to be 45 seconds. So at 45 seconds, it's going to come to rest. So I know that the rest of the journey is going to be like this. At 45 seconds, it's going to come to rest. So there is the rest of this graph. So we completed the speed time graph for the journey. So two things that are important to remember. The area under a speed time graph tells us the distance traveled. The gradient of a speed time graph tells us the acceleration. Deceleration is negative acceleration. So you take that as negative 1.4. That's one way of doing that. Another way of doing this would have been to think about, you know, here it was going for 20 seconds at a speed of 0. Point, uh, an acceleration of 0 0.7 meters per second squared. Here it's decelerating at a double the rate. So it's going to take half the time to come to a stop. So from 35 to 45, you could have worked that out. Okay, so I think in this question, you um, just drawing would have been fine, actually. So you could have worked out that this is double the rate 
of, of, of you know, this like double the rate of acceleration or you could say deceleration. So it's going to come to, to rest at half the time it took to reach that speed. Because, you know, it's like if the acceleration or the deceleration is more, it's going to be quicker to come to, come to rest by double the amount. Anyway, so there we have question 11. That's done. And other questions from this particular paper will be found in the playlist for this paper, which is going to appear in the area somewhere over here at the end of the video. Underneath it here will be uh, questions which are related to travel graphs from IGCSE. You can click on the link in the middle to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and see you soon.